Hello, I'm going to walk you through the learner side of the Knowledge Anywhere 2022 LMS out there. So first of all, your learners, unless they have single sign-on or direct sign-on, they would have come to a welcome screen where they would go ahead and log in. If they already have their login, they would put in uh, their log information. If they don't have it, they could go and um, register for an account from here. Or if they happen to forget their password, there is a password reset. If other languages are turned on in LMS, they can come up and select their language, um, as you can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as a learner. And you'll see that um, your logo would obviously be up here to support your branding. And then right in the middle, there is what we call action buttons to make it really crystal clear for that learner on what he or she should be doing. So you'll see that I have two courses past due. I have one that's due soon. I have three in progress. I've enrolled for an instructor led, whether that be a in-person or a virtual instructor led. I have 47 elements completed. If you have badges turned on, it will show which badges I've earned, all the badges available. And if you have continuing, edu continuing education or learning points there, it will show there. So this dashboard for the learner and the action buttons are absolutely critical to support their success. So if I go down, it will also show the recent course that I visited to help them get back to where they were before. It will support their various learning paths. Um, so let's say I have a learning path that I have 0% um, complete with one pass due and one due soon. Um, I have a learning path of um, you know, my corporate and I have 50% complete on that. Um, external completions, you can see there's 100% complete on that. And then I can go to the transcript details. So again, for that learner, he or she should be able to see everything directly from their learning dashboard out there. So if I go into um, past due, it will go directly to the ones that are past due. And these show the two that are past due and also what learning path they're in. While I'm out on this page, we really have enhanced the filtering. So if I do want to um, go uh, to a certain um, a certain learning path and filter by something. So let's say I want to look at everything that's required that um, has a duration of less than 20 minutes. It will show me all the courses that are required in less than 20 minutes. So if I have a half hour and I want to crank out a couple of the courses that are due, I can go ahead and look at those. Or if I want to look at um, the ones that are, you know, uh, past due and due soon, and um, I can look at that and it filters for the learner. So it's really powerful for that learner to be able to see where they're going on their learning path and jump directly to the learning path that they might want to go or directly to the course where they might want to go. Also the enhanced search. And so if I, I if I do want to search on I'll just you know if I do want to search on something, it will take me to um, this enhanced search. And you can see it will search by relevance. If there was a whole bunch of uh, courses here, I could sort by title, I can sort by course rating, I could sort by course type um you know out there i'll go home here um of course this would be something that you can have customized for you of welcome to um, your learning system whether this be for external or internal audiences and so on so i'm going to go back up to here to the top and yeah you know, i went to the learning paths the next thing is i can look at the transcript and this would be the transcript of all the learning paths that are out there I can download the transcript if I like. If it's something from an external completion, so let's say I took a course um, at the local college, I wanted that added to my lifetime learning record or my transcript, I can. If I have other external elements, um, we have what's called a knowledge mark, and this leverages X API to put articles you read or other things on your transcript along the way. And again, you can see from the transcript you know, what's going on with each of them. If I want to go and look at the transcript details, I can see that I, you know, uh, completed my presenting and selling skills, what my high score was. 
And then if I want to, I can share that on LinkedIn if you have that turned on. And if you have certificates on there, you can download the certificates from there. So I can see really at a glance which ones have completed, which ones are enrolled, and which ones that aren't started. And I can, I can go from there. The next thing um, is achievements. And so this is achievements where you can have, again, if you have this turned on, um, you can have badges. And so you can see, the learner can see what badges they have completed, which badges are available to them. And if I wanted to go look at all the courses necessary to complete my onboarding badge, I could do that here. So I can see that my onboarding badge, um, I need to complete these two courses to be able to get my onboarding badge. So very nice to have these badges um, out there. Also, from a reporting perspective, um, you can um, you can report on badges and so on. The benchmarking also in the achievements is um, something to allow learners to see how they're tracking compared to everybody else, still keeping privacy in place um, out there. So um, you can see how you are doing, how I'm doing against the best learner, how I'm doing against the average learner. I can do that all time and so on. So sort of just a fun way to provide some nice competitive nature uh, for certain folks along the way. Um, if you do have e-commerce turned on much um, out there, you know, this is where they would put things in their cart to purchase them. And then the other thing that um, is really powerful, and I can get this to from the home screen, you can see messages. So you can see messages that are courses that are due soon, courses that are past due, and then that same messages is up here. So if I click on that, um, something has been added to uh, my course list. I can see what has been added um, to my course list and so on. So it's a very nice way of communicating you know, with the learner about what's happening with their overall learning path, learning journey. And then the other thing is just from a profile perspective, that they can look at their purchase history, they can see what they've done for knowledge marks, there's some really powerful help they can provide articles and of course if they wanted to log out. From a profile perspective, they can um, you know, upload a photo, um, they can change their preferences here, their password. Again, some of these are controlled by what the, the single sign on would dictate um, out there. So again, from a learning perspective, um, you know, the key thing is the action button to make it crystal clear what they need to participate in. The, the, the filters allow them to jump to learning elements that are key in the message center um, out there. Um, the other thing that's really critical is this is you know, completely responsive. And so um, if they have it on a mobile device, it looks, um, um, it, you know, it looks exactly like it does here, um, but completely responsive. So you can look at it from on a mobile device and so on. So if you have any questions, you can go to our help desk and we have some great articles to support the learner and support the admin along their journey. So thank you very much for participating in this. Look forward to the success of your learning system for your learners.